Peggy 18. Hello guys, it's Callum Swan, also known as Swanny here. I'm a professional gamer and today I'm going to be putting some of the UK's finest sports personalities and athletes to the test on Call of Duty Black Ops 3. Today I'm joined by the wonderful Katarina Johnson-Thompson and we've been playing some Black Ops 3 and checking it out. Right Katarina, this is my arena I guess. Do you want to take a seat and we'll have a game? Now Domination is one of Call of Duty's signature game modes. The objective is there are three flags, each team competes to capture their home flag and then the middle flag and the opposition's flag. Whoever racks up the most points from the three flags in 10 minutes wins. I think this is Katarina's first time playing the game. It's so fast paced. And I've played it a few times before so I'm kind of trying to guide her through a few of the features. It's high octane. It doesn't require much thought outside of capturing the objectives, pushing forward press X and then like move along the wall. You can basically run along the wall. And there you go, you've mastered it already. Okay. And natural. So how do you find the game? Yeah, I found the game really good. Playing against you was a big eye opener. I thought I was all right with the game until I saw the levels today. And yeah, I think I am different on the track than I am playing the game. Is this the game or you'll generally play then? It's no, no, this is... Um, more team deathmatch. But I, I seem to think I'd probably enjoy this one more. I can relate probably each event to the game. I think the, the sprinting, just running fast, the hurdles, the running and jumping over obstacles, the endurance um, side of it, the 800 metres. Do you watch your other competitors when you're in between events as well? or do you? Um... I was going to ask you a similar question, actually. Like... It's hard not to take notice of what they're doing, I find. <laughs> if you're just there and like, it's nothing else to, to look at. Do you find that sort of the external factors, such as the crowd, what stadium you're in, the noise, etc., etc. Do you think that impacts your performance? I think different athletes react in different ways, and I'm one of those athletes who can bring in the crowd and perform because I know that the crowd's willing me on, and I think I perform better on those big stages. So, when we're competing, it's often in booths, so you're at least segregated, I guess, from all the the noise in the environment. Do you think that would impact your performance negatively, or do you think you'd want at least some kind of anticipation and some adrenaline from the crowd? I wouldn't like that, I wouldn't like that kind of pressure. I just like it when the crowd are, are all on the feet and like you happy. Some, like, yeah, I don't want everything to just be quiet, so I think I, I wouldn't like that booth environment. I've just realised that someone will lose in it with me. Oh, hey. <laughs> that's probably down to me. I just thought you could win without me. <laughs> right, that's it. Good effort. Good job all around. Thanks, Katarina. It's been wonderful playing with you. I hope you've kind of taken a few tips away from it, and I'm sure. If I go on the track ever, I'm sure you'll <laughs> return the favour.